Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share what I gave my husband in his lunchbox for a complete week. All the recipes are simple and easy to make, so let's get started. So Mondays usually I keep simple. I'm making curd rice. Firstly, I'm adding curd to the leftover mashed rice. And mixing it properly then for seasoning I'm taking a little amount of oil to that I'm adding cumin and mustard seed then some chana dal and urad dal then dal turns brown this is when I'm adding a teaspoon of ginger paste one red chili and some curry leaves When the curry leaves turn crispy, this is when I'm taking it out and adding a little bit of asafoetida before. So to the mashed uh, rice, I'm adding some grated carrot and coriander leaves, giving it a mix. Also adding my seasoning. some salt to taste and then giving it a good mix my curd rice is ready then to potato make potato fry oil then cumin seeds and turmeric and to that uh, potato add the potatoes and uh, mix it properly then once it is done little crispy take it out in a paper towel and tap it with a, another paper towel so that the excess amount of oil is soaked and trust me guys this is not at all oily so on Monday, curd rice, potato fry and strawberry. So on Tuesday, I am making mushroom curry and chapati. For making chapati, I am adding ajwain to the wheat flour and making my dough, keeping it aside. To make mushroom curry, I am adding oil in a pan. Uh, then to the oil, some cumin seeds. Once it starts to splutter, I'm adding uh, Kashmiri red chilli powder and, um, and uh, turmeric so that it gives a good color and mix it properly so that it doesn't burn. To that I'm adding my onion ginger garlic paste that I usually uh, make it in the weekends. Give it a good mix. Once the oil starts to separate then that is when I'm adding the dry spices red chilli powder cumin and coriander powder 1 tablespoon and red chilli powder half a tablespoon actually teaspoon give it a good mix once it is a uh, little cooked that is when I am adding my tomato and cashew nut puree mixing it properly then salt to taste, give it a good mix. Once, once it is a little cooked, that is when I'm adding my mushrooms, cleaned and uh, sliced in dices, give it a good mix and adding water to uh, the desired consistency. If you want the curry to be a little watery, you can add a little more water. This is the consistency I want. And I'm adding hot water to it. Here is when uh, I'm making my parathas. So I'm making square paratha because my husband loves square paratha. That is my, what my mom-in-law used to make. And uh, once the paratha is done, I'm adding some butter to it. And uh, sprouts palace salad, I'm adding some chopped carrot, cucumber and tomato. Sprinkling some uh, pepper powder and uh, Himalayan salt. And my lunch is ready. Paratha, mushroom curry and sprouts. Wednesday it is uh, Indo-Chinese. I'm making uh, soya manchurian. So to the boiled soya chunks, I'm adding uh, some wheat flour instead of corn flour, a little healthier option, and then some curd to it. Then I'm adding a pinch of uh, red chili powder 
and salt some pepper and then give it a good mix ensure that your hand is properly washed then to a pan I'm adding some oil to that I'm adding the soya chunk marinated ones till it turns golden brown then take it out in a paper towel so that the excess oil is soaked then to the same pan adding one tablespoon of oil uh, some chopped garlic some green chili then the square cut onions I'm not cooking them very much because I like my vegetables to be crunchy to that I'm adding green bell pepper some tomatoes and give it a good mix then to that I'm adding a red hot chili sauce and some soya sauce soya sauce already has salt so whenever I add the salt little less and then to that I'm uh, adding the soya chunks less salt because soya sauce already has a sauce to that I'm adding uh, water and uh, wheat flour mix instead of corn flour mix to give us a thicker consistency because corn flour as we all know not a healthy one so cook it till the desired consistency and your uh, soya manchurian is ready then for the fried rice I'm uh, taking oil to a pan I'll be using the cooked rice because uh, already have that one to the oil I'm adding some chopped carrot cabbage capsicum and then give it a good stir then I'm adding the rice slowly and adding a teaspoon of soya sauce some salt to taste take out the fried rice in the lunch box sprinkle with some spring onion and giving it the uh, serving with some boiled egg so on Thursday I'm making it vegetable to a pan I'm adding some oil cumin seeds uh, green chili onion till the onion turns a little brown to that I'm adding my veggies I have uh, potato green bell pepper green peas broccoli carrot and you can add any vegetable of your choice mix well add some salt turmeric red chili and cook till the vegetable is vegetables are cooked properly serving with some chapati curd and uh, grape so on Friday it is the semolina pancake so to a cup of semolina I'm adding four to five tablespoon of curd some water to make it a desired consistency to that I'm adding my mixed vegetables like onion green chili bell pepper some tomato some carrot some spring onion and some coriander leaves add some salt and give it a good mix to the pan I'm sprinkling some more oil and making the pancakes I prefer making smaller pancakes which are easy to carry then for the bean and chutney uh, I'm taking a pan chopped garlic some curry leaves green chili some murad dal and adding it to the roasted peanut some tamarind pulp little bit of salt water to the desired consistency and grind it well for the tempering I'm adding oil some mustard seed one red chili 
some curry leaves till it turns crispy some urad dal some asafoetida very important and then adding it to the chutney so as it is weekend for a little weekend bonus i'm packing with some dry fruit dates and a brownie So guys this is it for today's video I really hope you like it if you did please hit the like button comment below that really means a lot to me guys and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already ensure that the bell notification is turned on so that you'll be notified every time I post a video and uh, so bye guys